This is Hina, the voice behind Dr. Teeth. Why smash your head in your textbook when we are here to make dentistry easy for you? So before we proceed to the video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And also, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and comment as it motivates us to create more videos of this kind. For more amazing content, don't forget to visit our website where we have MCQs, courses and much more. So let's begin. Let us have a look. This is our tongue. And now you can see the intrinsic muscles. See? Cool, right? So all the intrinsic muscles are here. We will see them one by one also. So if we just take the tongue this way, and this is the midline, right? So we will have four muscles on this side and four muscles on that side. So we will just take one side and see all the muscles we have, right? Okay. So this right here, this one, which I have colored with green, you can see. This is the inferior longitudinal muscle okay now if i remove this muscle and we select another muscle this one right here you can see right here this is the vertical and transverse muscles of the tongue okay let me hide it and now we have this muscle. I think uh, this color will be better. You can make out, right? This is the longitudinal muscle, superior longitudinal muscle. So, this is the superior longitudinal muscle. So, what all muscles we had? We had the superior longitudinal. Then we had the vertical and transverse muscles, right? And then we had this right here, which is the inferior. So can you appreciate all these three? In fact, these middle one, the vertical and transverse, they are studied separately. But just for now, you can appreciate all these, right? So these are called the intrinsic muscles of tongue. And they help in changing the shape of the tongue. Then afterwards, we have the extrinsic muscles of tongue. Let's have a look. Whoa, here we have. <laughs> now we have a ship. Or it looks like a shark, I guess. <laughs> or a bird, maybe, from here. Wow. Okay. So let's have a look. One by one. So again, we can see that we have a midline and we have four muscles on this side and four muscles on that side. Okay. So this muscle right here, if I color this one. Okay. This is the genioglossus. This one right here, this is the hyoglossus. Then we have this, this is the styloglossus. Now, one more muscle, it is the palatoglossus. We can appreciate it here. Now let us study about the origin and insertion of them one by one. We are going to start with the intrinsic muscles first. So this is the superior longitudinal, this is the transverse and vertical and this is the inferior longitudinal. Now first we will see the function of each of these muscles because that part which is pulled during contraction of a muscle 
that is always the insertion so to visualize the insertion and to know what the insertion is we have to know the function for example for example superior longitudinal it helps to curl the tongue upward means it makes the tongue surface concave you will find that the lateral margins are curled upwards so what are these lateral margins these are the insertion of this muscle talking about the origin it originates from the median septum which is the midline right dividing line and also the submucosa near the epiglottis so this one makes the tongue concave now coming to this muscle right here now it has both kind of fibers right vertical and transverse the transverse fibers they are now it narrows and lengthens the tongue just imagine now since this also narrows the tongue or lengthens the tongue it will make it concave right so it also inserts on the lateral margin of tongue and originates from the median septum also some of its fibers will attach with the palatoglossus so some of the fibers are intermixing with the palatoglossus now at the lower border we have the vertical fibers it broadens and flattens the tongue just opposite of what the transverse was doing vertical is doing just the opposite so imagine your tongue getting flat something from down must be pulling it right so that is the insertion so what is the insertion somewhere in the floor of the mouth so that is the sub mucosa of the ventral surface of tongue that is the insertion so origin is dorsal surface of tongue sub mucosa of the dorsal surface and insertion is the sub mucosa of the ventral surface now we are left with just this one inferior longitudinal so let me just bring the hyoid bone in the inferior longitudinal does the opposite of the superior longitudinal so this superior it was making the tongue what concave remember and this one will make the tongue convex so how it does that by curling the apex of the tongue downward okay so we got to know the insertion already it is the apex of the tongue what about the origin here we have it the body of the hyoid bone and also the root of the tongue because obviously the tongue starts from here so we are done with the intrinsic muscles now let us move on to the extrinsic muscles now let us talk about the extrinsic muscles of the tongue now let me just bring in the mandible now here you can see we have the mandible and we are first talking about the genioglossus okay first we will see the function of this muscle genioglossus it helps in the protrusion of the tongue so in protrusion the tongue is moving ahead right so what will be the insertion here will be here somewhere will be the insertion and here anteriorly will be the origin okay so as you can see here this is the genial tubercle we have two tubercles superior and inferior from the superior we have the genioglossus and from the inferior we have the geniohyoid let's just concentrate on the genioglossus so it originates from the superior genial tubercle and it inserts into the let me just remove it and show you superior fibers are running to the ventral surface of tongue and they are intermixing with the intrinsic muscles intermediate fibers are going and attaching to the posterior surface of tongue and the inferior border it is attaching as you can see at the body of the hyoid bone so this is the origin and insertion of the genioglossus let me just remove it now let us talk about the hyoglossus now the function of hyoglossus is that it will depress the tongue it will pull the tongue downward so obviously this will be the insertion somewhere here so insertion is the lateral surface of the tongue between these two muscles this is the styloglossus and this is the inferior longitudinal so in between these two it goes and inserts 
what is the origin it originates from the greater cornu and anterior portion of the hyoid bone coming to this muscle right here this is the styloglossus obviously we have a styloid process here and what it does it elevates the tongue and it protrudes the tongue what it does it elevates and it protrudes so this is the oblique portion and this is the longitudinal portion of it so the longitudinal is going and inserting on the dorsolateral part of the tongue okay and here it intermixes with the inferior longitudinal as you can see right and these oblique ones it will also go and insert on the dorsolateral but it will intermix with this one right here this is the hyoglossus then we will talk about so this is the palatoglossus in brown so this will elevate the root of the tongue so obviously the insertion must be somewhere here and where the lateral surface of tongue where some fibers are mixing with the transverse fibers and some fibers are going to the posterior portion of the tongue now it originates from here as you can imagine here we must be having a palate right so it originates from the palatine aponeurosis so this was the origin and insertion of the extrinsic muscle i hope that you found the video helpful if yes do let me know in the comment section take care allah hafiz